A painting starts out with a blank canvas, a pale nothingness of possibility. Adventure is the same in a lot of ways. You start out with nothing, and then you slowly start adding radiant red mountains, lush green trees, and the sparkling blue of rivers. Suddenly, your view is one of vibrant color and even more exciting possibilities. This particular picture could be any one of the most well-known destinations on Earth, but in this case, it's off the beaten path in the small town of Green River, Wyoming. There's a lot of history in this area um, with the railroad, um, Green River, the Palisades. There's a lot of unique scenery that's specific to this area based on the on how the river has flown over the last hundreds of years. And it was a primary route for the, the pioneers as they came across the mountains. Green River was here long before the railroad ever came. So it was a settlement place for the early pioneers as they transitioned across the Rocky Mountains. The Union Pacific actually determined Green River's fate. In 1872, S.I. Field and the railroad company came to an agreement about using parts of the Green River town site for railroad facilities after drought dried up the Black Fork River. This, in turn, helped save Green River from becoming a ghost town. While not a metropolis today by any means, residents are still grateful the town survived. Scott Sterewald, owner of K-Motive and Sport in Green River, is one of them. Today, he heads out with a few of his closest friends to enjoy the recreation that is easily accessible from this old railroad town. We picked the full line, basically, of Arctic products. These machines are built for this kind of environment, and with the fully lockable front hubs, it's endless where you can take these machines. We've come up kind of a, not even a medium one, I'd say, but there's some way technical ones to get up here, but you got to have a 50 inch or smaller. And then you got main roads, dirt roads, and trails. We come down through the Green River, down there at the bottom, enjoyed the river. If you go over to our right over here of me, that takes you out by the gorge called Little Fire Hole. Right now, we're on a point that's called Wilkins Peak. It's an outlook that overlooks the Rock Springs and Green River areas. It's just a fun little ride to come up here and enjoy during the day. For recreationists, this area is awesome. We have uh, the Flaming Gorge, which is just a little ways away. That's not very far. We got mountains to the north of us. We can go south to Uinas. I mean, or just like we did today. I mean, we left from town and, and caught some trails, some pretty nice trails that you can't catch other places so there's trail systems that go all the way from Rock Springs all the way to Green River so whatever you want to do. The Green River trail system has different paths for different classes of rider. Whether you're into the extreme or just out for a leisurely stroll you'll find what you're looking for. In Keith Floyd's case he likes the easier trails not because he avoids a challenge but because he's in search of a different experience. One involving those closest to him and sometimes they're quite small. Well Asher's nine months old and uh he, he has mixed feelings about it sometimes, depending on how rough it gets. So it bounces him around a little bit. Uh, Jenica, my daughter, she's three and she loves it. She, anytime I'm home, she wants to go for a ride on the cat. So we actually have put the child seats in our side by side. So they ride comfortably and safely. So that's pretty much all it takes for us to prepare. Sometimes ATVing isn't about getting to a specific destination. Sometimes it's just about the freedom of the outdoors. I retired from the United States Army in 2006. Uh, my wife and I spent the next seven years training ATV and motorcycle safety to the Department of Defense. And as we started looking forward, we looked for a dealership in this environment. And there's no other great outdoor space than the state of Wyoming. The freedom of the open doors. Here in Wyoming, the trails are just endless as opposed to other states. We can leave right from the shop and in five minutes, we're out in the out in the wilderness, basically. I hate sitting at home watching TV. I'd rather be out riding, enjoying, enjoying the country. If you want to plan your next ride out here in Green River, Wyoming, it's easy to find. Just follow I-80 west out of Denver or east out of Salt Lake, and you'll come upon Green River. Head on in to K-Motive and Sport right there in town, and Scott will show you the ins and outs of this unique area. Every ride is a blank canvas, begging to be filled with beauty and memory. Wyoming has more than enough space for both. You just need to pick up your brush and create the experience you've been longing for. For At Your Leisure, I'm Stephen. 
Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Shh. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.